Hi everybody, it's Lunch with the Cardinals, the daily update of Jewel Athletics, brought to you by Hillcrest Thrift Store in Liberty. I'm Rick Cole, the Director of Sports Broadcasting at William Jewel College, and it'll be a busy weekend again in uh, Jewel Athletics. The men's and women's basketball team will be home on uh, Saturday afternoon. The women face Buena Vista at 1.15, and the men will take on Central Methodist University at 3.15, right here in the Maybe Center, Saturday afternoon. Wind gusting again here. First and goal throw, picked off, and it's Owen Hodges who has another interception, the second in two weeks. Yeah. Football is on the road at Kentucky Wesleyan University. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Volleyball is at Lindenwood playing in a tournament for teams that cannot compete in NCAA Division II in postseason. It's a transition tournament at Lindenwood. And finally, it's swimming at Morningside College for Mark Bull and the swim team. In football, uh, the final game of the season, Kentucky Wesleyan University in Owensboro, Kentucky, will be our host. We'll be taking on the Panthers, who won their very first game of the year last weekend. They are 1-9, taking on our Cardinals, who have won two in a row and are three and six. This Cardinal team is playing very, very well at the moment and they're going in with some high expectations. We had a chance to visit with Jerry Cruzy and get his thoughts on inside the Cardinal playbook about the upcoming game. Uh, you know, they, they're, uh, they've they been playing at the Division II level for a long time and went out and beat a, a, a winning Division II team last week. They went up on the road. It's about an eight-hour bus ride for them up to Notre Dame. It's a Division II school out of Ohio right. and uh, beat them 38-12. to 12. And uh, so they're flying high right now. They're coming home for their senior day and, and uh, a lot of things. So they're going to have a lot playing with a lot of emotion. And, you know, we're going to take a pretty good bus ride over there and sit on the bus for a while on Friday and, and uh, hopefully be ready to play on Saturday when the, when the game rolls around. But, you know, it would be very big for us. And, and you mentioned this in your lead in there uh, to, for us to win three in a row here to finish. Uh, it'll be a tall order to get that done on the road against a team, you know, with some momentum. Uh, but, you know, I, somebody told me it's been nine or ten years since since William Jules won three in a row, and, and to uh, to get on a roll like this at the end of the season gives you a lot of momentum going into the off season. Uh, but you can talk about all that all, all you want. You still got to go out and get it done this weekend, and, and that's our plan. Remember Jewel and Kentucky Wesleyan University to wrap up the season. You can hear it live on the internet starting at 12:30, and also on 91.9 FM on the William Jewell College Sports Network. Swimming is also in action this weekend. Mark Gold takes the men's and women's swim teams to uh, Sioux City, Iowa. They'll be facing Morningside College in a duel, uh, along with a couple other schools. And here is Mark Gold to tell you a little bit about that. Uh, this weekend, on Saturday, we're going up to Sioux City, Iowa to Morningside College for the Mustang Invitational. Um, it's a unique format uh, for a meet, one that I've never uh, seen before, but I, I like what I see. Uh, we're going to do the 200 medley relay, and then four individual events, a uh, break, four individual events, a break, four more individual events, and then finish with the 200 free relay. So. Uh, each swimmer will compete in approximately five races, uh, two relays and then three individuals. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing some good swims, seeing some uh, kind of fine-tuning of their race strategies going into the uh, Grinnell College Pioneer Invitational the first weekend in December. Again, remember men's and women's basketball at home on Saturday afternoon. 115 for the women and 315 for the men here at the Maybe Center. Volleyball wraps up their season at Lindenwood. Swimming is in Morningside and we'll have the final broadcast of Jewel football for the season at 1230 Saturday afternoon as the Cardinals take on Kentucky Wesleyan. Our game will be live on the internet. It will also be on 91.9 FM KWJC for those of you locally. And again, that's on the William Jewel College Sports Network. That is going to do it for Lunch with the Cardinals. We're traveling tomorrow with the football team. We'll see you again on Monday with Lunch with the Cardinals, again brought to you by Hillcrest Thrift Store of Liberty.